Would you like to prepare this delicious rosemary and peppers focaccia with me? Well, follow me in this video and I will give you my own recipe. Welcome back on my channel. My name is Pasquale and I'm a nutritional lifestyle coach. On my channel I give you nutritional tips, tips for healthy lifestyles and healthy recipe videos like this one. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and click the bell to receive notifications about new videos. Today I prepare my own version of the famous Italian focaccia. And if you see my shirt dirty with flour, I was a victim of a vile assault by some packets of flour which I hired and circled and attacked me viciously, but I ended up winning. As toppings over the focaccia I will use a green pepper, rosemary and some sea salt. For this recipe I will use the following ingredients. 600 grams of stone ground wholemeal flour, 50 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil, 9 grams of salt, 6 grams of sugar, 340 milliliters of lukewarm water and a sachet of about 7 grams of dehydrated yeast. Now let's start with the procedure. In the bowl of the bread machine, this ugly thing you see in my hand, we add first the salt, then the flour, calmly and cold-blooded, I don't know if you noticed my shirt. Then we put sugar, the yeast and the lukewarm water, immediately after the olive oil. Now the bowl goes inside the bread machine. You will find the link to buy the same machine that I use in the description of the video below. If you need by hand, well, well good luck. Do a little workout at the gym first, because to work the dough well until it becomes boot, well, I hope you get out safely. The program I use needs and let's rise for about 45 minutes. Here you are. So how fast were 45 minutes? Wow, <laughs> they were very fast. Now I lay the dough, smoothing it a little with my hands. Then pressing it from both sides to give it the shape of the baking tray in which I lay it. And magic trick. There was no tray there and now it's here. Now add some extra virgin olive oil at the bottom of the tray and we will adjust the dough. Work first on one side and then on the other to soak it evenly in the oil. Now with your fingers give the classic shape of the focaccia with these holes and slightly ugly and bad. You can top it or stuff it in the way you want. I will now add a pinch of cooking salt then a little rosemary from my garden that with my superhuman strength I will chop with bare hands and without fear. Did you appreciate the style and the strength? Now I'll cover it with a cloth and I'll let it rest for about 40 minutes so that it raises another little. I have a knife in my hand for two reasons. Defend myself from the packets of flour and cut the green peppers that I have in my hand. And here you are, I am flesh. Between one shot and the other, the pepper is not only cut into pieces, but it is already set on the focaccia according to a precise arrangement. Well, I was honestly putting them randomly. Now, I lightly push with my fingers the peppers inside the dough. In the meantime, I preheat the oven to 210 degrees Celsius or 410 Fahrenheit. Put it in the oven and cook it for about 20 minutes. All set! Now we wait and hope. Hot 20 minutes fast? Yes, a lot. Here's the result. With a close-up to the focaccia and also the heck of a dry and rag that I forgot with the intelligence of a starfish just behind my back. But the scent of this focaccia is really inviting. Give it a close-up. I'm happy as if I had a baby. Now I will cut it and serve it at room temperature. I just want to remind you to follow me on the social network where you will find photos of my dishes and my website where you find information about my services. Leave it a comment and a like. You make happy me and of course the dog too. I'm only left to say it well, live well and smile